His tireless devotion to the grassroots promotion and growth of soaring, his enthusiasm, inspiring leadership, and years of service with Air Cadet gliding programs have been of great benefit to the sport of gliding and to Canadian aviation in general. Walter Frank Schmiele was born in Vienna, Austria, May 28, 1926. From an early age, he was interested in aviation. He was an avid model aircraft builder and participated in many competitions. At age 14, he made his first solo flight in this German primary glider SG-38 and received his glider pilot license in 1943. Schmiele studied machine design at the Technical High School and Law at the University of Vienna. From 1948 to 1950, he worked in technical administration during the reconstruction of Vienna. In 1950, he said goodbye to his mother and left Austria for Canada with just $25 in his pocket. Once in Toronto, he studied and then worked in the engineering field for several years. In 1962, Shamila formed his own company, Indesco International Limited, in Toronto, which provided personnel and consulting engineering services for a variety of industries. He operated his company until 1995, a period of 33 years. When Shamila arrived in Canada in 1950, he found few opportunities to continue with his love for the sport of gliding, so he co-founded a gliding club in Toronto. The club needed tow pilots, so he took flying lessons and bought a British Oster to use as a tow plane. In 1961, he founded the York Soaring Association in Toronto. He bought the land and soon rounded up help to build two hangars and a clubhouse. He also supplied the tow planes and gliders. By then, he had his multi-engine rating and glider instructor rating, including aerobatics. Over the next 45 years, Shamila inspired others by his many personal achievements. He gained his Diamond C badge, at the time the highest achievement award available to individual pilots. He set numerous Canadian gliding records, several of which still stand after 30 years or more. In 1974, he set an absolute altitude record of 12,449 meters, or 41,000 feet above sea level, in a single seater. In 1975, in a multi-place glider, he set an absolute altitude record of 10,390 meters, or 35,000 feet. In 1976, he set a speed record of 65 kilometers per hour over a 300 kilometer out and return course, again in a multi-place glider. From 1970 to 1984, Shamila organized wave flying camps at Colorado Springs, where Canadian glider pilots could gain experience flying in mountain waves, which allow gliders to fly at over 30,000 feet above sea level. He lectured on the physiology of high altitudes and the use of oxygen, and conducted orientation and instructional flights. Shamila's encouragement for young people to enjoy flying is legendary. Over a period of 34 years, he organized annual flying training camps for the Royal Canadian Air Cadets. More than 500 cadets have graduated from these camps. In addition to his work with Air Cadets, he organizes camps for the disabled. For these accomplishments, he was named Instructor of the Year by the Soaring Association of Canada. In 1976 and again in 1993, he was presented with achievement awards by the Ontario government. In 1993, he was awarded the prestigious Paul Tassandier Diploma for long and devoted service to the sport of soaring. But Shamila's real contribution to the sport is as a builder and promoter, as represented by his work with the York Soaring Association. The expressed goal of the association was to introduce more people to the sport and provide instruction at a reasonable cost. What has evolved under Shamila's direction is a club that has done more by far than any other in Canada to foster these ideals. He has served as the president and treasurer of the York Soaring Association since 1961. He was chief flying instructor for 10 years, tow pilot and recruiter of new people into the sport. The club has won the Soaring Association of Canada's Roden Trophy for the most efficient club many times between 1974 and 1988. Under his leadership, the York Soaring Club has grown to be one of the largest and busiest in Canada. The club has about 200 members, and its fleet now consists of 18 gliders and five tow planes. It has its own 200-acre airfield in Arthur, Ontario, 
In each of the past 15 years, it has averaged 5,000 air tows, 600 introductory flights, and 2,500 instructional flights. Each year, an average of 25 new licensed pilots have graduated. Shamila continues to pursue his work vigorously, organizing the first ever Air Cadet Officers Glider Pilot Training Camp in 2006. He remains very active in the York Soaring Club and looks after its finances and maintenance of aircraft and field. As well, he arranges meetings and takes care of membership, which continues to grow. His spirit of volunteerism still sets a high standard and his enthusiasm for the sport has never diminished. Shamila and his wife Eva live in Toronto. They travel back and forth to Austria each year to visit family and friends. Walter Frank Shamila was inducted into Canada's Aviation Hall of Fame at ceremonies held in Montreal, May 27, 2006.